Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have more news today, some pretty cool stuff, so as always, let's get straight to it. The very first thing that I have for you guys is actually a brand new paint variant coming for the How Long Good Packy Rhinosaurus. This information along with the images are thank you to Paleo Figures on Facebook who broke this news, but there will be a designer edition of the Packy Rhinosaurus coming, which looks pretty cool. I definitely like the coloration of it. I don't know much about it, honestly, outside of the fact that it is a new paint variant, and we've seen similar things in the past announced by Paleo Figures, but I've never actually seen these for sale so far. You know, I don't know where exactly they go up for sale, but this again is a designer edition. The price would be $48.99 for this version because it's a special edition version of the Pachyrhinosaurus, so keep your eyes out if you are interested. Also, as far as Safari LTD goes, they unveiled yet another brand new figure for us, so they have quite a few coming out now for this year, as we just recently had the Kentrosaurus making its return with a new paint variant, but this time we've got a Stegoros, and it looks really quite cool, honestly. Very interesting paint scheme for it. I think the sculpt is fantastic. The paint scheme is interesting. It's not my first choice as far as what I'd like to see on a Stegoros, but just like with the Kentrosaurus, it might be another one of those, you know, instances where I really need to see it in person to truly appreciate how nice it looks or may not look, but definitely another really cool species, and I'm pretty psyched to see more Stegoros figures. On top of that, PNSO has unveiled yet another figure as they now are releasing a Megalosaurus, and they're not even going to be releasing it's actually already available for purchase from pnso so that's something to keep in mind if you are interested in it but it looks awesome if you ask me definitely a really nice species choice the sculpt is fantastic the paint job as well in my opinion is fantastic and i am beyond hyped to get a hold of a brand new version of the megalosaurus from pnso even though i was a big fan of the version from collect a i'm definitely much bigger of a fan of this version i think it looks awesome also there is a brand new line of dinosaur figures coming out and they will be called shamrock oddities and if you are wondering what the quality of their work might look like here is your first chance to catch a glimpse of it and i must say with a sculpt this good i am beyond hyped about what they will be releasing and what they could be releasing into the future because this looks gorgeous gorgeous and uh, again just shows so much promise for this brand as well as in my opinion pretty much a must-have as far as this figure goes no word quite yet on release date or anything for this but definitely will be letting you guys know when I find more information out about it also Dino Dream had recently shared a new image and it's actually an image of a model that we did not know was coming and it's a model I'm hyped for it looks as though we will be getting a Dilophosaurus now this is something that uh, I've honestly been waiting years for. I have been wanting to see a Dino Dream release of a Dilophosaurus for so long, I can't even begin to tell you guys. So I am honestly over the moon hyped for this one. I, uh, again, I'll only have this image right now. We don't really have any more reveals or anything for it, but once we do, I'll definitely show you guys because I am psyched. Also, as far as Siret Tech and this time Rod's random work goes, it looks as though we are going to be getting ourselves a brand new Hammond collection replacement piece as we are getting a Triceratops head. And it looks awesome, if you ask me. Like, definitely really well done. Rod did a fantastic job on the sculpt, and I love the fact that we have articulation and everything for it. Like, it just looks way better than the version that we got with the Hammond Collection Triceratops. So if you are interested in picking this up, make sure you are following Siret Tech on his social media outlets, and of course I will include those in the description, so that you can go ahead, follow him, and make sure that you grab this Hammond Collection Triceratops replacement head once it is available. And then when it comes to Mattel, we actually have some pretty interesting stuff here. A lot of this was unveiled by Collect Jurassic, so of course props and a huge thank you goes out to them for the images and information. But the very first thing is apparently a new line of figures coming called Bite Club. And you can see kind of a sneak peek of what we've got going on here. Very, very chubby looking version of what appears to be the T-Rex. And uh, not a whole lot is known about these quite yet. You know, we'll have to wait and see, I guess, as far as what these will be exactly. But 
you know, we've got a pretty interesting image here showing it off, so I'll be very interested, very intrigued to learn more. Also, in the recent Beyond the Gates reveal, which was kind of a huge letdown because they just revealed the young T-Rex and Stegosaurus that we've already had out, actually, for quite some time, but in that video, there were some people that had noticed a few figures in the background of the one part, you know, where it had shown off Gregory Murphy speaking, and they noticed that not only do we have the Carnotaurus in the background of the image there, you can also, and I honestly can't see it too well because it's a little bit blurry, it's hard to see, but uh, it looks as though there might be a Dr. Wu in there, and I know many people are very excited for a Dr. Wu. It's, again, a little hard to really see who all is back there, but, you know, any potential hope of a Dr. Wu figure is promising in my book. And the final thing, and again, all of these Mattel reveals and information, this is all thanks to Collect Jurassic, but we have a brand new image of yet another of the Epic Evolution figures. We've got ourselves the Tojengasaurus, and this one looks pretty darn cool, and the thing I'm most impressed with as far as this one goes, you know, the sculpt looks pretty nice, but the paint apps are really well done. You can see we actually have paintwork from head to tail. We have the plates painted color just everywhere on this so you know i know we won't see that for each and every figure but that's actually a really nice one for this particular release definitely psyched to see mattel adding in the extra paintwork that we really want to see on these figures and hopefully we'll see more of that moving into the epic evolution line we have seen quite a few figures already unveiled that we know don't have the full body paint job look to it but this one definitely is in my opinion a little bit of a cut above the rest when it comes to the paint apps so as of right now guys that's all the news i've got when more comes out i'll be sure to send it your way but until then please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching